Tesla Megapex are now powering Europe's largest battery energy storage system. This new battery pack in Europe was recently launched to support the UK's grid and provide more renewable energy to the UK when they need it. That is, when the sun isn't shining and the wind isn't blowing. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. My name's Sam Evans. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Thanks for tuning in. Harmony Energy Income Trust has announced the official launch of the Pillswood Project, which is considered Europe's new largest battery energy storage system, or BESS, by capacity. Now, to be fair, it's a big battery, but it's nothing in size to some of the other batteries. For example, batteries that are being installed right now in Australia and the United States. However, the site located in Cottingham, East Yorkshire, UK, has been successfully energised and will now provide critical balancing services to the electricity grid network, as well as enable further replacement of fossil fuel power plants with renewable energy. When they, what does it mean by that? Well, once companies start to see things like this, projects like this take off and work, they go, oh, okay, why are we not doing it? Very common that this happens in a market, somebody has to get this big sort of a big project going first, and then the others will follow. According to Harmony Energy Limited, this project can store up to 200 megawatt hours of energy and has a power output of around 100 megawatts. That means it has two hours of power supply at full power or longer at lower power. The BESS consists of Tesla Megapack blocks which are around three megawatt hours each, which once again show how big an impact Tesla is having in Europe, not only selling electric cars to customers such as disrupting BMW in particular in Germany, where they're about to actually beat BMW, I'd say next year for overall market share in Germany, but also in electricity generation in battery packs. If you're wondering what these battery packs, who makes them, I mean, obviously Tesla doesn't make the cells in these packs, they buy the cells from another company. We believe they buy the cells from CATL and they're likely lithium iron phosphate cells, which are a huge advantage, not only for Tesla because those cells are much cheaper than the lithium ternary cells they used to use in the past, but also for Tesla and for the UK, for the energy company that buys these batteries because they should get you three times as many cycles. What does that mean? The lifetime of these batteries should last for two to three times longer than the old Tesla battery packs. Plus, they're cheaper for consumers to buy the packs now, and Tesla probably make more of a margin on these battery packs. Big advantage using lithium ion phosphate chemistries in these massive battery packs. In Europe, what else is Tesla doing? Well, Tesla provides its auto bidder trading platform. What is this? The project will be operated through auto bidder, Tesla's algorithmic trading platform, which has demonstrated a strong track record over the past two years in managing the Holes Bay and Contigo projects to existing battery storage projects, also developed by Harmony Energy Limited in conjunction with FRV. Now, this is a big part of the Tesla appeal. You're probably thinking, oh, so what? I mean, Tesla doesn't actually make the sales. How is how Tesla's just the reseller? Not true. You need the computational ability to actually meter the energy, to actually make the best use of the battery packs. That's a huge part of this. You cannot just buy a battery pack and go, ah, oh, stick a battery pack there. Okay, battery work. Sure, that might work for, work okay for your house. Not ideal, but it might work okay for your house. But ultimately, what you need is the software that drives this whole thing that makes it work, that actually makes it send energy into the grid when it's best needed basically to work as a peaker plant. Peaker plants make a lot of money because buying energy when it's desperately needed at those, those periods when energy is scarce, it then becomes very expensive. So the truth is that the energy market is being disrupted enormously because they're going after the lowest hanging fruit first, which is peaker plants, where they sell electricity at a very high rate. Considering that 196 megawatt hours, which is the size of this battery, is the largest battery energy storage system in Europe and that in several other countries, there are several times bigger battery systems. Europe's got a lot of work to do. Now, that is true. Inside EVs made that comment. 
And I agree. I agree. They're a long way behind the United States and even a small country like Australia in terms of their battery deployment. There's massive, like the Moss Landing Battery Project will be 1,500 megawatts and have a 6,000 megawatt hour capacity, meaning it will be seven times bigger than this battery. Now, that's just one of the many projects being installed in the United States and the similar size projects being installed in Australia as well right now. The company that actually made all this happen in the UK called Harmony Energy Limited intends to deploy five more similar projects in 2023 alone, just in 12 months, most likely in partnership with Tesla, which indicates that the battery energy storage market is quickly growing in the UK and in Europe. It's worth mentioning that Harmony Energy and this battery project wasn't supported by taxpayers. There's no subsidies. They're simply doing this because it makes financial sense. Like I said, disrupting peak plants. Pete Kavanagh, Harmony Energy Director, said this. The completion and energization of the Pillswood scheme, the largest of its kind in Europe by energy capacity, is a significant milestone for Harmony Energy Income Trust. Being the first of six similar projects the trust intends to deliver in the coming year. Now, Inside EV says that Tesla is becoming the largest battery energy storage system provider globally and soon will accelerate that thanks to the all-new Megapack factory in Lathrop, California. And it's believed Tesla's output of Megapack batteries might exceed 40 gigawatt hours annually next year, which would be massive. What surprises me the most is just how quickly Tesla was able to ramp their production facility in Lathrop to be able to produce these massive amount of batteries that are coming from that factory. Now, of course, it's in conjunction with their battery partners. They don't make the cells for these packs. It doesn't make sense for them to do so. It only makes sense for Tesla to manufacture cells which have really, really high energy density in which they'll put into their more expensive electric cars. It doesn't make sense to use 4680 cells in these types of battery packs. Not at all. There's no, this just would not be logical for Tesla to put 4680 cells into an energy storage system. What you want for these energy storage systems is to either use sodium ion batteries or lithium ion phosphate batteries. They're more affordable and you'll get more charge cycles out of those batteries. Now, of course, they're also a bit heavier, but it doesn't matter if the battery is just sitting on the ground. The weight is irrelevant then. So Tesla's facility in Lathrop that's producing these mega packs will have an output of around 40 gigawatt hours per year but we don't know exactly when that'll be. However, right now, a single mega pack has a capacity of around three megawatt hours, plus all the electronics and the other stuff that's needed when you install these batteries. So that means that if Tesla are producing 40 gigawatt hours of batteries for energy storage per year, that would mean they can produce 13,000 mega packs per year. That's enormous. In fact, that's about... 200 times more than they could produce in 2021. And this means that with this new manufacturing facility, Tesla's energy business will grow exponentially. It'll grow to the point where it'll just be like comparing when Tesla just used to sell the Model S and the Model X to today, when they sell the Model Y and the Model 3. Production will be drastically bigger than what it was in the past. It's worth considering this if you're looking at Tesla's stock, by the way, because Tesla definitely going to transform their business over the next few years. And they've been pointing this out. Investors in the market have been pretty much ignoring this, I think. They've been pointing out that they are going to grow their energy storage business even more than their electric car business. That's uh, that's pretty significant. So Tesla actually recently set a new quarterly record of 2.1 gigawatt hours of battery energy storage system deployment in the last quarter. For me, the most important part of all of this is not the fact that Tesla is growing this market massively. That's great. What's most important is what this means for the world. This means clean energy. We need these battery packs in order to store energy from the sun and from the wind, in order to make renewable energy work worldwide, and in order for it to be its most effective and efficient. And the fact that these battery packs are now cheaper, they are cheaper per gigawatt hour than what they were in the past, and they'll now last more than twice as long. Plus, remember, lithium ion phosphate batteries are much less prone to fires, which have happened in some big megapack batteries around the world. In the future, that'll be very, very, very rare. The batteries will last a very, very long time, making them a much more financially viable proposition for many, many countries 
all around the world. I can't wait. Clean energy, it's coming fast. I mean, Australia was way behind. For example, Australia, love coal, never going to use clean energy. Guess what? Apparently we'll hit 92% renewable energy by 2030 in Australia. And guess who started it all? I'll tell you who started it all here in Australia. Realistically, the media made a big song and dance when Elon Musk said he would deploy a massive battery, which was the world's biggest battery at the time in Adelaide, which would be able to replace Pika plants and solve the energy problems in the state, which were massive. Tesla promised they'd do it in 100 days. They did. The rest is history. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.